Hello everyone, I'm LG65 and we're continuing our Let's Play Yakuza 4. I'm actually going to start the next side mission. So let's uh, head on south to um, just close to back to Sky Finance. So I attempted to do stuff off screen, but I accidentally activated another side mission which I didn't want. So I am not like you know ready to pursue one just yet but in the meantime and in between time i'll do a random fight because this dude is bold enough to stop me Heat action. Well, it's not happening today. 3,000. So, let's proceed. Yeah, this is the gentleman I wanted to speak. I think rooftop exists for us to look up in the sky. You might find a suspicious store, a shady guy, but they're here to spice up the sky. You can access rooftops from various spots throughout Kamarojo. Rooftop areas are mainly located in the southwest and southeast. Use them as an alternate route around the city. Areas from which rooftop are accessed are marked on a pause menu map. Please note that most building managers close the access areas on rainy days to prevent injuries. Rooftops can be connected to most unexpected places. Be a good idea to master all routes. And for this, I get 500 experience points. I'm actually going to go the alternate route because that uh, conversation that happens there is a side mission which I will not do yet. I'm actually going to save that for a later time. Here's another memo I want to take care of. They sometimes hand out special editions of Tokyo Sports in this area. Of course, they're only handed out when there's a bit of major event, but it makes you feel like you're witnessing history in the making, you know? Special editions of the newspaper are sometimes handed out in Theater Square but they're only available after particular events occur. The only way to read all of them is to frequently check out Theater Square. This is why I can't stop visiting Komurocho. But where is this newspaper? I don't see it. I do see some of the real life advertising. Here's another memo. I always end up sending like 100 emails a day. That's why it's convenient to create folders for incoming emails so everything gets filtered. In addition to emails from friends, you'll receive occasional newsletter with useful information. Your incoming emails will be sorted by sender, making it easier to find the one you want. You can even reply to some emails from hostesses. Make sure to check emails from your favorite girls and reply as soon as you can. Ooh, you reply in like a second. Now I'm going to reply even faster. And that's another memo in the books. So, let's proceed it's further south, where we meet a familiar face. Excuse me. Shibara-san? Akiyama-san, what are you doing on this side of town? Actually, I was just coming to see you. Me? Uh-huh. Uh, then let's head on up to my office. Now, what can I do for you? Akiyama-san, please make me your apprentice. My apprentice? Yes, uh, please. Well, this is sudden. Weren't you starting some kind of online company? That's what I figured at first, but when I really sat down to think about it, I couldn't come up with anything I wanted to do. So why become my apprentice? I bet if I studied under you, I could discover my true calling. Don't be ridiculous. Figure that out for yourself. Please. I have no intention of taking on an apprentice. I'm not asking to be paid, of course. I just want to stay here until I work out what I want to do. Absolutely not. 
I don't want to waste a five million yen you let me. Please! <sighs> Please! What's holding you back, Shacho? He doesn't want a salary. I don't know. Uh, well, I'm all for it. Thank you, Hara-chan. Fine. Really? We'll start by having you pick up some lunch. Got it. I'll be right back. You just want him to be the office gopher. Wasn't that obvious? Phew. Couldn't eat another bite. By the way, Akiyama-san, why did you start Sky Finance anyway? Why? Well, frankly, you're not making any money here. I just wonder what gave you the idea. What gave me the idea, huh? You want to know? I do. It might help give me a push. I used to be homeless. You did? Yeah. I would worked at a bank, but what with one thing and another, I quit and then ran out of money. When was this? About five years ago, maybe? After I left the bank, I lived on the streets for a while. Then one day, money came literally fluttering down from the sky. Really? Money? You didn't hear about that? There was an explosion at the Millennium Tower that blasted all this cash out on the street. Oh, yeah! I saw that on the news! I ran around like a, I ran around like a crazy man, eventually gathering up a million yen of it. Did you start your business with that? With that chump change? <laughs> you can't even rent an office for that little. Then what did you do? I've been in the banking business, so I knew a little thing about finance. I thought, what's the best way to make more? Then I went into day trading. What's that? It's basically trading stocks within the course of a single day. You complete a bunch of trades on a day-to-day -day basis, and if all goes well, you can earn a substantial profit on your sales. It's not unlike gambling, I suppose. But with a little expertise, you can make more than you would on the horses. And did you? Did you make that million grow? Well, it was do or die. I scraped up information wherever I could and bought and sold day and night. Not everything was strictly legal. And one bad trade and I would have been done for. And I guess somebody up there was looking out for me. I made a sizable sum before I knew it. Now I tried futures trading and the like. Maybe I had a natural talent for it. In any event, the money just kept on multiplying. I made my businessman's salaries thousands of times over in only a few short years. Then I found myself wondering what I should do with it all, which made me lukewarm on the idea of making more. Did you lose interest in money itself? No, I just went from thinking about only how to make money to thinking about ways to use the money I already made. And you became an interest-free money lender to help people with their money problems, right? I didn't really want to help just anybody who happened to be strapped for cash. I wanted to see people who'd lost their money and hit rock bottom work hard to pull themselves back up again, like I had. And that's when Sky Finance came to be? Um, excuse me, I heard I can get a loan here. That's enough war stories for today. Alright. Amazing, we didn't all see this animation a lot. Let's hear what you have to say, right this way. What was it you needed? Hey, well, my husband's obsessed with gambling and he's gotten us into a ton of debt. Then he drinks and gets so violent, so I got us out of that. I couldn't take it anymore. That's terrible! He borrowed all kinds of money under my name, too. And now the loan officers won't give me the time of day. I heard a rumor that you might be able to help, so and so here we are. How much did you need? We left with nothing but the clothes on our backs. Could I borrow about hundred about 500000 for living expenses? Alright, but you ought to pass the test before I can give you the money. Hey. Yes, I heard about that too. What would you like me to do? You have three hours to find work somewhere here in Komorocho. Do that, and the 500000 is yours, interest free. In only three hours? If you look hard enough, you'll find something. They say we're in a recession, but there's still plenty of work available if you're not too picky. What do you think? Will you give it a try? Okay, I'll see what I can find. Why 
did you have to give her a test after all she's been through? If she's serious about this, she'll pass it just fine. Where's Noriko? And you are? My wife came here for a loan. Oh, so you're her husband, eh? Aha! So she did come here. Uh huh. Where is she? Drag her ass out! I'm sorry, but your wife is not my customer and I cannot divulge information about my customers. Why you? If you have any complaints, we can take this outside. That suits me fine. So let's hear what you have to say. Mm -hmm. I ain't got nothing to say. Just get Noriko out of here. You want to get a beating? Listen here, friend. Will you just shut the fuck up already? Guess I gotta beat some sense into you. Time to bust his head. Here's a perfect occasion to try the heat action. And the uh, grab taunts. Oops. There we go. So it's R2 to taunt while when you're grabbing a guy. And when I, I just dropped the dude on the floor and had enough heat to pull off a heat action with triangle. Damn it! You'll pay for this! Oh, I'd run too if I were married to him. Of course. A couple hours later, I guess. Any luck? No, nothing. And I can't lend you the money. I'll have to ask you to leave. I stopped by every single place looking for part-timers. They all said I was too old. I tried lots of other stores and restaurants, but they told me I had enough help. And? Three hours supply of work in Kamurocho? It's just not possible. Did you check at any red light district businesses? What? You know, massage parlors, places like that. Somebody as good looking as you should be able to find a willing employer. I could never work in the sex industry. That's your decision, but you won't get the loan until you pass the test. But I really do have to ask you to leave. Akiyama-san, hasn't she been beaten through enough already? Like I said, I don't give people money just because I feel sorry for them. Still, if she truly wanted a new life for herself, she'd gone straight to a massage parlor and asked for a job. I won't lend money to anybody who's less than serious. You made a serious decision to change your life, right? And I lent you your money. I helped you because you were serious. You said you didn't want to waste my 5 million yen. Are you looking for something to do with it? Seriously? Because you're never gonna find anything just hanging around me. You're right. You lent me money, so I felt dependent on you. I'll give some more serious thought to what exactly it is I want to do. Are you sure about this, Shetchel? You could have let Shiobana san work here, you know. No, this is fine. He's a big boy. I'm sure he can figure out his hopes and dreams all by himself. And that's 5,000 experience points and an automatic level up. Okay, I'm up against it, so I'm gonna cut the video right here. So. A next side mission will come and I'll upgrade something in the next video. So take care everyone and remember, life's good.